यस बेटा सो लेट अस रिवाइज फिजिकल पॉलिसी गाइस व्हिच इज यूनिट फोर ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर टू पब्लिक फाइनेंस इन द वेरी बिगनिंग ऑफ दिस चैप्टर गाइस आई टोल्ड यू दैट टिल द एंड ऑफ द यूनिट थ्री गाइस गवर्नमेंट इंटरवेंशन वे ऑलवेज बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ टैक्सेज एंड सब्सिडीज गाइज ऑन इन्फ्लुएसिंग द डिमांड एंड सप्लाई ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर सर्विस सो दट इज फ्रॉम अ माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक परफेक्टिव गाइज इन दिस चैप्टर ऑफ फिजिकल पॉलिसी वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ टैक्सेज एंड सब्सिडीज एस सच गाइज फ्रॉम अ माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक परस्पेक्टिव हाउ हाउ कैन द गवर्नमेंट स्पेंडिंग हाउ कैन द टैक्सेज हाउ कैन द सब्सिडी these are such guys affect the macroeconomic variables that is the level of national output the national income guys employment the amount of inflation this is what we are going to learn in this chapter guys so i told you better the story behind this prior to 1930 prior to the great depression as such guys the role of fiscal policy was not recognized it was only after 1930 guys when the markets were unable to come back to the natural level of real gdp as such guys uh, people started realizing the importance of fiscal policy guys after that better gradually the role of private markets increased as such guys markets Uh, resulted in efficient allocation of resources so the role of fiscal policies again decreased as such better but in the year 2008 there was this financial crisis and then beta there were instances there were you know fear of recessions guys तो इसीलिए बेटा गवर्नमेंट द रोल ऑफ फिजिकल पॉलिसी अगेन इंक्रीज है सच गाइस गवर्नमेंट बजट ठीक है गवर्नमेंट बजट बेटा इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पावरफुल वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पावरफुल टूल्स है सच गाइस टू अचीव द इकोनॉमिक गोल्स डिफरेंट इकोनॉमीज है सच बेटा विल हैव इकोनॉमिक गोल्स है सच गाइस लाइक योर एम्प्लॉयमेंट फुल एम्प्लॉयमेंट लेवल्स प्राइस स्टेबिलिटी गाइस बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट्स दे शुड बी प्राइस स्टेबिलिटी फुल एम्प्लॉयमेंट लॉन्ग रन गुड ग्रोथ है सच गाइस इन द इकोनॉमी इक्वालिटी ऑफ इनकम इक्विटेबल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑल ऑफ दीज are economic goals guys so there are four components of public finance that we are going to learn better public receipts public expenditure public debt and debt financing that is public debt ko kaise finance kar rahe ho is deficit financing guys when all of these tools beta that we talk about when all of these tools of public finance beta they are used to influence the economic activity as such guys public finance transforms into fiscal policy so fiscal policy beta is nothing but the use of government spending taxes guys and the amount of borrowing to influence the pattern of economic activity and also guys the level the rate of growth of the national income employment and inflation uh, if an economy is already operating guys at a full employment level we all know guys that there is no role of fiscal policy at all objectives of fiscal policy guys to maintain achieve and maintain full employment level full employment level price stability guys equitable distribution distribution of income accelerate the rate of economic growth i said guys uh, different economies will have different priorities a developed economy beta will have a priority guys of uh, maintaining price stability as such guys uh, and equality of income developing nations guys worry more about employment levels and the rate of economic growth objectives can conflict as such guys objectives can conflict then guys we spoke about automatic stabilizers and discretionary fiscal policy automatic automatic stabilizers beta are also known as non discretionary fiscal policy automatic stabilizers are also known as non discretionary fiscal policy now when your fiscal policy beta is devised in such a way that there are built in mechanisms there are built in mechanisms there are automatic mechanisms guys to influence the level of economic activity we call that as an automatic stabilizer any government program that has uh, you know guys that is functioning or automatically beta without the intervention of the government to regulate the economic activity guys uh, to reduce the impact of inflation or expansion to reduce the impact of recession as such beta would be an automatic stabilizer the best examples of that as such guys is the amount of, is the progressive tax rate system that we have in india guys and the transfer payments in the form of unemployment benefits and the corporate tax rate when the economy is booming when the economy is expanding as such guys there will be lesser number of people employed as such guys there will be lesser number of people unemployed beta so the transfer payments will reduce the taxes increase guys all of this will reduce personal disposable income and in turn beta have a negative impact on aggregate demand likewise when the economy is in recession guys the amount of unemployment transfers will increase the amount of uh, taxes will reduce guys resulting in a higher disposable income and all of that guys will have an impact positive impact on your uh, positive impact as such guys on the amount of aggregate demand करेक्ट सर येस सर सो दिस इज वॉट आई टोल्ड यू गाइस ड्यूरिंग रेसेशन क्या होता है बेटा एंड ड्यूरिंग इकोनॉमी एक्सपेंशन क्या होता है एंड देन बेटा डिस्क्रिशनरी फिजिकल पॉलिसी बेटा आर डेलिब्रेट पॉलिसी एक्शन गाइज टू इन्फ्लुएंस अ लेवल ऑफ एक्सपेंडिचर टू इन्फ्लुएंस अ लेवल ऑफ एक्सपेंडिचर गाइज uh that is national output guys that is done through changes in expenditure changes in taxes guys government can always you know guys change the level and types of taxes government can change the extent and the composition of the government expenditure and the quantity and form of borrowing 
वी ऑल नो नेशनल इनकम बेटा जी डी पी इज इक्वल टू सी प्लस आई प्लस जी प्लस एक्स माइनस एम गवर्नमेंट कैन ओनली इन डायरेक्टली कंट्रोल गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर वेल इन डायरेक्टली इन्फ्लुएंस कंजम्पन इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड नेट एक्सपोर्ट्स now as far as the instruments of fiscal policy are concerned beta there are four instruments that we are going to learn the first one as such guys is using government expenditure as an instrument second one beta is using taxes as an instrument third one beta is public debt fourth one beta is using budget as an instrument when we talk about government expenditure as such guys remember government expenditure is current expenditure guys it is capital expenditure and then there are transfer payments which do not contribute to national income because there are unilateral payments without any uh, productive service being received now during recession guys during recession government will undoubtedly initiate here beta when you talk about government expenditure being an instrument of fiscal policy during recession government will initiate guys a fresh wave of public works because of this beta because of this guys uh, government is directly employing people or government is buying materials when government is directly employing people as such guys it is adding to economic activity when government buys material beta jisse bhi khareed rahi hai they will employ people so this will result in the multiplier effect as such guys this will result in multiplier effect and add uh, increase the economic activity also guys when the government is building on infrastructure it will boost public confidence private co business confidence guys and they in turn will start investing they will start investing during a uh, deep depression guys government can think about pump priming guys or they can talk about compensatory spending pump priming guys is to you know guys initiate it is basically better to uh, uh, say boost your uh, private investment guys it is one time injection into the economy whereas better compensatory spending beta is realizing the fact that yes there's a deficit in spending by the private sector and you will have to make up for that deficit you will have to make up for that deficit so that acts as a substitute beta for private spending and then guys during inflation obviously beta government will reduce their expenditure so that guys uh, the aggregate demand comes down and the inflationary pressure comes down we have learned about government spending multiplier also known as fiscal multiplier or the keynesian multiplier guys and that is 1 divided by 1 minus b talking about taxes as an instrument of fiscal policy guys remember a change in tax rate as such guys that is basically better to encourage people to consume more as such guys or to restrict their expenditure is what we are going to learn here uh, taxes beta can influence the amount of consumption expenditure guys as well as the amount of investment expenditure investment expenditure now guys taxes will affect your personal disposable income guys and uh, personal disposable income which will affect consumption expenditure corporate taxes will affect corporate profits which will affect aggregate demand which will affect aggregate demand as beta during recession guys and depression government can always uh, reduce taxes they can always reduce personal income taxes they can reduce corporate taxes this will lead to higher disposable income higher corporate profits leading to higher aggregate demand to what extent are we supposed to reduce beta that will undoubtedly depend on the tax multiplier that will undoubtedly depend beta on the tax multiplier inflation ke time beta government can always levy new taxes increase the tax rates as such guys the objective beta is to basically reduce whatever is the amount of personal disposable income guys so that aggregate spending reduces always remember very high amount of tax can basically result beta in businesses moving out of india then we have learned about tax multiplier which is minus b divided by 1 minus b a balanced budget multiplier where government spending increase in government spending is equal to the amount of increase in taxes that is a balanced budget multiplier and that will always be equal to 1 that will always be equal to 1 guys understood sir all right and then beta we spoke about public debt as an instrument of fiscal policy public debt beta as an instrument of fiscal policy under public debt guys i told you that debt can be internal or external prop government can directly borrow from the market so through small savings whenever the government is borrowing from the market they're reducing the money supply in the economy guys so they will reduce the amount of liquidity in the market and that in turn beta will have a negative impact on aggregate demand reducing aggregate demand whenever government repays a such guys debt it increases money supply in the market and that in turn will increase is aggregate demand budget as an instrument as such guys you can divide the budgets into three categories balanced budget deficit budget surplus budget balanced budget is where the government expenditure is equal to government collections you should not have any impact as such on the aggregate demand a surplus budget will have a negative impact on aggregate demand because you are pulling out more money from the market than injecting into it a deficit budget beta will have a positive impact on the aggregate demand because the amount of infusion into the market is more than the amount of withdrawal from the market now if a government wants to uh, during recession guys during recession government would want to have a greater deficit budget or a lower surplus budget matlab agar tumhari economy already has deficit budget you will want a greater deficit budget if your economy already has a surplus budget you will want a lower surplus budget and during inflation as such beta you would want a lower deficit budget or a higher surplus budget understood sir 
then beta we spoke about types of fiscal policy guys basically two types contractionary fiscal policy guys and expansionary fiscal policy i said beta we are basically combining uh, all the four instruments that we have learned as such guys all the four instruments uh, here beta i spoke about uh, what is the opinion of classical economist and what is the opinion of keynesian school as such guys we all know beta by now we have learned these words you have learned them a lot of times so these are counter cyclical fiscal policies beta expansionary fiscal policy is used to counter recession or whenever recession is anticipated paid government spending and taxes are used better to change the amount of uh, aggregate expenditure and aggregate demand better government spending guys will be increased government spending will be increased taxes will be reduced as such guys so they can be a combination of both under a contractionary fiscal policy beta the objective is to counter inflation guys or if inflation is anticipated here government spending is reduced or the taxes are increased as such guys or a combination of both or a combination of both government wants to interfere when the growth rate is extraordinary as such guys and there are asset bubbles bubbles and valuations created understood sir then we spoke about guys expansionary fiscal policy i said in detail as such beta expansionary fiscal policy mein kya hota hai beta is that the aggregate demand is lower aggregate demand is lower guys the classical economist uh, says beta that uh, wages will decrease that in turn beta will result in more supply the supply curve itself will shift downwards so the equilibrium will be achieved as such guys but at lower prices at at lower prices whereas beta the keynesian school says beta that government spending should increase the amount of aggregate demand beta to the right hand side to the right hand side as such guys and that it sell beta will result in natural level of gdp natural level of gdp by how much should the government spending increase as such guys that would depend upon the gap and the government multiplier guys so spending multiplier from where should the get government get resources if the government is increasing taxes that is not a good sign if the government is borrowing money from the public as such guys it should be careful that it is not leading to crowding out effect if the government is printing more money it should be careful that it is not resulting in inflation and an expansionary fiscal policy will always need the support of an accommodative monetary policy the you will not want the rbi as such better to increase interest rates because of inflation in the economy because if the interest rates are increased it will be it will have a negative impact on private investment and that in turn beta will push down the economy push down the economy into more recession understood sir this is all about expansionary fiscal policy then beta i spoke about contractionary fiscal policy as such guys contractionary fiscal policy is basically where beta the aggregate demand is more than what the economy can supply in the short period because the economy cannot increase the amount of output as such guys the supply curve itself shifts upward that is beta the same output is now being supplied at a higher price the government will intervene guys it will not want the supply curve to shift out, uh, upward as such guys in fact it will try to reduce the aggregate demand curve beta to the left hand side try to reduce the aggregate demand so that the equilibrium occurs as such guys at the natural level without increase in prices so this is where better the government can reduce government spending guys increase the amount of taxes or combine both okay sir and then beta we spoke about fiscal policy these were about the types of fiscal policy then we spoke about fiscal policy for long run economic growth as far as fiscal policy for long run economic growth is concerned guys government should always consider investments in modern infrastructure infrastructure development education research and development guys government should consider uh, you know guys uh, a better well designed tax policy that is promoting innovation and entrepreneurship objective is to increase the supply side beta over a longer period and then beta we spoke about government fiscal policy for reduction in inequality is only through fiscal policy that is government subsidies government expenditure or through taxes under taxes beta it can have direct taxes ke liye progressive direct tax system or guys uh, indirect taxes mein you can have uh, differential indirect taxes tax those products beta that are luxury products at a higher rate and then guys government spending beta government spending guys have a carefully spending program as such beta design uh, program free education free school uh, uh, medical facilities subsidized education as such guys free housing facilities uh, education programs all of this beta to reduce to reduce the income inequalities as such guys okay sir and then beta finally we learned about the limitations of fiscal policy as such beta in the end limitations beta is lag lag may we have learned about recognition lag we have learned about decision lag implementation lag impact lag and then beta uh, there can be a, a difference in timing guys by the time you are uh, implementing a fiscal policy the economy is already on the recovery phase and then guys if you are taxing people more guys they might not be motivated to make more income if you are just giving off subsidies to people as such guys for unemployment they might not be motivated to work likewise guys uh, you may not be able to reduce government spending on uh, defense on social welfare schemes also guys on public works which are midway guys you will not be able to reduce them you you cannot change tax rate so easily as such guys if you borrow money from markets as such but it can lead to crowding out effect if you are printing more money it can lead to inflation all of these are the limitations finally the concept of crowding out i hope you are all clear about this as such guys i'll see you guys in the next class bye bye guys